Hi, my name is Treasure, and today I'm going to be fitting my patient Donna Reese for crutches. So Donna Reese has injured her right ankle, and so she's completely non-weight bearing on that side. So before we begin, I want to have my patient stand up, but somewhere that they can hold on to to be stable. And you just want to make sure that their feet are shoulder width apart and that they stand up tall, and if they, if it permits their arms to be relaxed at the side. So when we start without crutches, typically you ask the patient what their height is and then you go from here because the crutches has different um, height ranges on here. Um, so you wanna always fit or measure from the uninjured side. So what we're looking at when we begin, we wanna start with the crutch tip or the bottom of the crutch, six inches lateral and two inches anterior um, to the uninjured foot and then it's going to lean under her axilla. So under the axilla pad, we want at least two to three finger um, width below the armpit. So just from the top end, you want to kind of go in to make sure. These are pre-fitted, but um, if need be that you need to adjust, maybe you need to go higher or lower, then you would just squeeze in the buttons and adjust um, accordingly. So six inches out to anterior, coming under. Then you're going to have the patient relax their arms um, to the side, not grabbing on anything. And we want to measure the hand grip. So what we're looking for is that it meets the flexor, crease, the flexor crease of the wrist. Um, this is also pre-measured, but if you need to bring it up or bring it down, there's a little butterfly nut that you would unscrew, pull the screw out, and then adjust accordingly. So I'm going to have the hold that there. Then um, you would do the same thing on the other side. So make sure that they're even. So you wanna make sure that your um, patient is wearing um, the proper footwear, so something with like a neutral heel, heel and something that they're comfortable with wearing. Um, what we look at is we wanna make sure that the elbow um, flexion is 20 to 30 degrees. And then um, we wanna communicate that the the um, top of the crutch should be pinned against the patient's rib cage when they walk. So now I'm going to explain to Donna Reese how we are going to walk. So Donna Reese, um, the crutches and the injured leg act as a pair. So when you lean forward to start walking, your crutches um, and your injured leg will come forward and then you'll follow through with the uninjured leg. You want to make sure that you're bearing all of your weight on your uninjured leg and on um, your hands instead of your axle pad. So go ahead and then when you put crutches should come out 12 to 15 inches out in front of you. So you through. Perfect. And then you just want to communicate um, for the patient not to look at their feet. Um, so look straight ahead. Same thing, crutches first and then the uninjured leg follows. All right, so now we're gonna work on going up and down stairs. Um, a good rule of thumb to follow is um, going to be up with the good, down with the bad. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to the first step. You're going to move your injured crutch over to your other arm. So you're holding both of them. And then you're gonna grab onto the railing with your other arm. You're gonna step up. And then you're going to step up with your good leg, with your non-injured leg, bring the other up. And you're gonna step up again with your good leg, bring the crutch up and so on and so forth until you reach the top of the stairs and then you want to be making sure that you're leaning forward so you don't fall backwards down the stairs okay so when you're going down the stairs you want to make sure that you're leaning back a little bit so you have if you do end up falling uh it's less of a fall back downwards um, and so basically you're going to start with the bad, so you're going to bring the crutch down and then you're going to step down with your uh, non-injured foot and you're going to bring the crutch down, step down with your non-injured foot and so on and so forth until you get down to the bottom. Now if you don't have a railing, you're going to go back to using your crutches as normal. And same thing goes, you're going to step up with your non-injured foot and then bring your crutches up, step up with your non-injured foot, bring the crutches up, and just continue that up until you reach the top of the stairs. And then 
then when you reach the top of the stairs, you're gonna do the same thing that you did um, before. You're gonna bring the crutches down, and then you're gonna step down with your foot, crutch down, step down, all the way back down until you reach the bottom.